Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking you through my logo design process. I work on a lot of logos for different clients in both my freelance work and in running my design agency. So over the kind of years of doing this, I've kind of established a bit of a process that I found that works for me. And as always, it's kind of always developing. I'm always learning new things and trying new things and trying to make it the best experience for both me and the client. But I'm gonna run you through what I'm currently doing for my logo design process and hopefully it will help you and kind of streamlining what you do and we'll both hopefully learn together. So step one, pretty much client will usually email me. That's usually the first thing that ever happens um, unless I've kind of had a chat with them in person. So they usually send me something along the lines of, hey, I've seen your work. I am interested in getting a logo. Can you give me an indication of how much it will cost? That's usually the first question people want to know. Um, and can we can we have a conversation and chat a bit more about what your process is and maybe work together? If they haven't explained a lot of what they want in the email, I'll usually send back um, a list of questions or arrange to meet them or have a Skype conversation with them just so that I can get a bit more of an idea of what they're after before I go ahead and start estimating any type of price because every project is very different and it's going to vary with each one how much it's going to cost how long it's going to take what the deliverable what the deliverables are going to be and all of those types of things so the first thing I do is try and get as much information from the client as I possibly can without being annoying. So it's usually a series of short questions or a conversation where I can ask those questions or um, a meeting in person where I can ask those questions. So the questions are usually along the lines of what is your business? What are you wanting this logo to be about? Like what am I representing in this logo? Tell me a bit about your story where you came from and why you want a logo now. So are they starting out? Are they wanting a rebrand? I wanna know, yeah, what their business is. So what are they trying to sell? What are they trying to do? I also ask what they're gonna use this logo for. So is it gonna be used on websites? Is it gonna be on business cards, posters, that sort of thing, just so that I can get a better understanding of where it's gonna be applied and that can kind of guide my design and also the deliverables at the end. I'll also ask if there's a certain deadline or when they're kind of hoping to get this design done by because some people might be doing it for, they might be relaunching their website so they might want the logo to go on at the same time or they might have an event that they're leading up to or something like that. Some people might just be chill and have no timeline but either way it's very good to know. I have never really directly asked what anybody's budget is because I don't really try and fit my design to somebody's budget. I can kind of decrease the amount of things I can do for somebody to fit their budget, but I'm not gonna decrease the quality or discount what my work is worth. So I never really ask what their budget is. From having these kind of questions, I can kind of gauge where they're at. So if they're like a non-for-profit startup, I can probably guess they don't have a lot of money but if they're like a massive corporate company they might have a bit more to play with so I can kind of gauge the level of where they're at and then kind of tailor my proposal to that. So after I've asked all those questions and um, there might be a couple of tangents that I go down after I've asked those questions or if they ask me questions then I will send them a proposal. So I'll write a proposal kind of outlining what we've already discussed. So saying, okay, your business is this, you're wanting logos for this, 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 and this. It's going to be used on these platforms in these different ways. And then I outline what I can do for them. So basically we'll outline, I propose that I'm going to design you this many concepts and then we're going to whittle it down to this many variations of one logo. And then I'm going to send it to you in this many file formats and throughout the process we're going to have this many revisions and then I have a quote of how much that's going to cost. So I send them all this information that's designed really beautifully and send it with a nice big smile and then 
they will hopefully get back to me with a yes, great, let's go ahead. So at that point I send them an invoice for a deposit payment and they pay me, majority of the time I do a 50-50 split, so 50% at the beginning of the project, 50% at the end. So I'll send them at the beginning of the project 50% deposit invoice before I start any work. If you want to know anything about getting paid, my friend Charlie Marie, you probably already know her, she's an incredible designer and amazing YouTuber. She just did a series all about getting paid as a freelancer, so I'll leave a link in the description so that you can go and find that. I hope that all made sense to you and I hope that it maybe gave you some more ideas about how you could do your process or make things a little bit easier. If you have any ideas or things that you do in your process that you find really helpful, please leave them in the comments below because like I said, I always want to be improving this process and making it better. So if you have any wonderful and wise ideas, I would love to hear them. And if there's any parts of this process that you want me to go more in depth into, again, leave those in the comments below so that I can know that and I can hopefully make some more videos about it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any other videos and as always I hope you are being creative and productive and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!